Welcome back to the Artie Lang Show. I'm sitting here with uh, a rarity in this country, a show business marriage that works. Well, yeah, I wouldn't yeah. go that far. Guess again. <laughs> no, I mean, you guys, come on. We hate each other, but no, we're let me still you, together. These are two real funny comedians. I've known them for a long time. And these two, these two guys got together and got married. Really, yeah. I, and I don't even know the whole story because I know you both well, but I don't know how this all happened. And you've been married now for how long? Let me. Can I? Can oh, I, you're, this is Rich Voss. That's the yeah. guy, and, and the wife and other comedian in the uh, relationship is Bonnie McFarland. Let me let me explain this real quick. Go ahead. But, but, okay, <laughs> this is when I had they're married. Use I had your words, baby. I had tons of heat. I was doing. <laughs> Listen to this. Listen, I was doing Last Comic Standing. Yeah, right. Tough crowd with Colin Quinn. I remember that. That was, uh, a, that was O&A. A hot time. Was a hot so time. I'm doing all these things. I'm getting all this heat. I'm, uh, I meet Bonnie. <laughs> I'm writing for the Oscars for Chris Rock. That's right. I get the Oscar gift basket worth 100 grand. I'm taking Bonnie all over the country. We're going on big vacations. I mean, uh, that gift watches, bag had like four pearl. trips in it, right? I mean, it, more trips in it, right? We get a pilot for Comedy Central. This is nine years ago. <laughs> if it's picked up, it's twenty-two thousand dollars a piece. Nine years okay. ago, if it's picked up, which is a lot of money for 44, cable. Forty-four thousand total for cable. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I everything is going perfect. Yeah, it sounds great. Okay. A week before the I wedding. Was doing anal. A week before the wedding. No, this is, t you can't do this, kind. This isn't XM, stupid. And Bonnie, okay. is a, Bonnie is a beautiful girl, too. This is, okay. not, just, this is not just some no, comic. No, I meant I was oh. uh, very uptight. Yes. I was very uptight. Yeah. So, a week before the wedding, yeah. Okay, and I'm getting married because I'm thinking you know, the pilot's going to get picked up, so that'll be season two. You really were that naive, uh, show okay. business wise? You're thinking this pilot was great. Okay, it was. I'm telling you, it I'd was. Like to I, see I, it. I've done enough of them. This has been. This was a good one. He's okay, done okay. Enough of them. I didn't realize you had done a lot of yeah, pilots. No, hey, yeah, I've done five that haven't been picked up. <laughs> I have sorry. five failed pilots. You're like pilots. You're John Cryer. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, first of all, I don't like I don't like Brian McFadden's face. <laughs> Anyhow, so so. Here's the deal. Chris, I apologize. It's, uh, it's nothing personal. A week before our wedding, the pilot's not picked up. Okay. I'm so depressed. The Oscar <laughs> basket runs out. Tough crowds canceled. Yeah. Okay. My my last comic standing tour is over with. And now I have a baby. <laughs> and you're married. <laughs> yes, and I'm married. Well, okay. Bonnie, how do you respond to that? I mean, he's I'm saying not too that... thrilled about it either. <laughs> <laughs> but was it? What, are, do you agree with this? Because I was around at that time, and you were hot. You were all over the place. You and that guy were in the bathtub together on last comic. Yeah. Thing. Who was that guy? Dave Mardell. It really went down for him. I, mean, yeah, I know. He's funny. He's so funny. <laughs> he is a funny guy, right? He's doing. He's doing ra radio in. <laughs> he's not even on my show. <laughs> but he's doing radio in Minneapolis. Oh, he is. He only gets like three hundred a week. He's doing radio <laughs> in Minneapolis. Oh my! Oh my! Own. With it, Bonnie. Yeah. But what? So do you agree with this juggernaut that he was, and then um, and then you and then you sort of came in and just put an end to this? That's what it sounds like. It sounds like he's... No. I did what every good wife does. <laughs> I uh, we he's... were having a lot of fun. People would say to me, you know, well, first of all. I liked him because he was so grumpy. There yeah. was something about that that was like appealing to me. He was uh -huh. grumpy all the time. People would say, "I don't know what you did to him, but he is happier than he's." And I think, well, what? How bad? That could strips this guy... you of your funniness. A lot of people think. Were you worried about that? Being happy meant being unfunny. He wasn't happy. Oh. He wasn't. Oh, happy. <laughs> no, I don't know what people were talking about until a week before our wedding, and I saw it for myself. What? How upset, <laughs> depressed, and horrible what he was. The pilot wasn't picked up. So what, you, 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 were you so functioning? Just, like, how no, depressed were you? he was moping around, and people would be like, congratulations on your upcoming nuptials, or what? And he'd be like, oh, thanks. <laughs> and I was like, you got to pretend people think it's least, me. Yeah. First right. of all, we got married in Canada because her family are farmers. They're coming to the wedding in flannel They're shirts. They're farmers on Facebook. They're farmers. What does that they mean? Wear, <laughs> farm. They wear <laughs> jeans. We're in a place. Did uh, that upset where, you? No, nah, but we're in a lodge where half of it, there's hunters dragging dead elk, and we're getting married. <laughs> and, you know, was, we, was you know, it was kind of cool. You know, and then during the uh, wedding party, we all go up and do speeches, right? Yeah. So my father goes up, he bombs. <laughs> then Norton goes up and he kills, right? right? Kills. So then Bonnie goes up. With, we're supposed to go together. She goes up and she start, leaves me behind and she's doing great. So I go up and I take the mic, right? And, I, and I'm, you know, I'm killing. I said that her father, you know, touched me in the barn right. and stuff like that. You know? <laughs> that's that's right, good right, stuff at a wedding, yeah. And, and then during our first dance, you know, she looks at me and says, I was doing good. Why'd you take the mic? <laughs> That's during our first dance. Oh, God. I set up. I was setting up oh, for a big punchline. Oh. And, and a, a 
one of those little teeny hands came right past my face and grabbed the mic. At the away wedding, it started to happen. So you started <laughs> you started competing for attention <laughs> at the wedding, yeah. well, like no, show business wise. Yeah, not what if one of your careers skyrocketed? How do you think that would work? Like, what, what, what well, luckily, happen? there's no hope of that <laughs> happening. <laughs> you know what? I think it could happen. We're, we're the... drowning together, no. thank God. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> We've done so much in this business. We've done so much that if we stop now, yeah. I, I had the most successful career. I mean, oh, really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's what you're going to you say on that? radio? Why are you that? spinning that? Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Why, For, why are you talking like that when we're on radio? Why don't you say what, what you really say? Get out of the car? <laughs> no. I say what I really... No, I mean, listen, here's the deal. And this is the bare... I love doing stand-up. I, I know you do. You're very so, good at it. Thank you. Everything else is a bonus. Right. I would love a TV show. I would love our movie to hit. A pension? Only, well, only because Can I just it would raise the number. I'm yes. sorry. I know you guys, you love talking to each other. <laughs> um, I was, I, I, I'll just be brief. He got offered to come in to audition for a television show. Yeah. I hear him on the phone. He's asking how many lines, whatever. I'm thinking, oh, good. He's not going to go in for something stupid, you know. <laughs> and then I, and then he gets it. I see him going over it, looking at it. Then I see him back on the phone. He goes, no, no, it's too many lines. <laughs> no, he goes, Are you getting lazy? He goes, no. if it was a walk-on or something, I'd do it. No. That's, it, that's how Hollywood, this we, guy. We, we, have to, we have to take a break, but think about that, because I, I agree with you. I, I used to, when I was on a sitcom, I used to, if there were a lot of lines, I'd look at the script at the beginning of the week, and if, if I was in a lot yeah. of scenes, I'd get so disappointed. I just want to add <laughs> you get the same paycheck. <laughs> every Friday. We'll be back with uh, more of the Artie Lounge Show.